If it's not 6'8", then know that it's a really big cost to make it lower. All right. Future reference, if you don't have the height in the basement, assume then you don't have a basement. Mm -hmm. So you just have an unfinished basement for future. Because mm -hmm. uh, you can do it, but you would need to get a price reduction to do it. Okay. Foundation-wise. Look at this. This this wall that I don't like. <laughs> I, I think you're focusing on all the wrong stuff. You're, you're, like, foundation can be fixed. Layout cannot. Like, the fact that you have too low of a ceiling, that's really expensive to fix. Okay. So you got to make big, major structural changes. Fixing the foundation, this is all just somebody getting here and doing some work. Wow. This stuff's not a big deal. This wall needs to stay. Uh huh. Fixed, but you've got waterproofing already running around. I mean, these walls can just be fixed. They're just not put in probably correctly. I mean, some of them need to be tore out and repaired, obviously. So, we're keeping these walls, and we are assuming that waterproofing is fine. I don't know if it's fine. You're not looking at that. You can't assume that yet. I mean, the bigger issue, mm -hmm. expense wise, is that you don't have very much room. You're going to need to go down a decent amount of inches. And underpainting and putting a new basement floor in is like 15K. It's more expensive than all. This stuff's easily fixed. This mm -hmm. wall just needs to be torn out, redone. This one wall. And then over here, you can just, you know, again, stucco everything and make it look nice. Mm -hmm. And most of it's going to get framed over anyhow and framed in front of. Oh, you know, okay. So we'll, at the end of it, we'll cover it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So the things that I can't see on the videos that are really important is always just to tell me like what your height what is. What's the height of the basement? Yeah, I can't, you know, with the height, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. You tell me it's okay when I ask you if it's okay. You can't, you gotta be like, no, it's six foot four inches or five. You gotta be exact. Uh huh. And that way you know. I think I'm, this is you know, six in the five. Future, pass. Mm -hmm. Just buy another house. I know. Be patient, buy another house. You don't have to buy stuff. But now you got it, so now let's fix it. But I wouldn't worry about the foundation. We can fix all that. Mm -hmm. We need to just get a plan for the layout right now is what's more important. This foundation stuff, yes, you're going to have to repair it, but um, a lot of this repairs are just, I don't know, this stuff might actually come out. This whole thing don't seem like it's doing anything. Because it's coming off the main wall again, you see? Yeah, I mean, it's just that they didn't put it in very well. I mean, whatever this is, they did waterproof it, but overall it just all needs to be fixed and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like parged over fixed. Your bigger issue is the height, though, and the steps and the height. Mm -hmm. You don't really have steps to anything. You don't really have the size you need. So you got to make everything. You're taking a house and making it into something, which we do, but not like to this level. If you can help it, mm -hmm. you probably still, you know, you, you know, you end up spending like eighty-five or ninety k. That's gonna, you can fix any house with that. The budget is eighty-five. Yeah, you're gonna spend more. More. <laughs> yeah, because you're you left out that it was only six, four, or five down here. You gotta. That's gonna cost a little more. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. You can get it done. And you, you know, what was your ARV on it? Three hundred. Three hundred. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you got. I mean, they're probably worth that once you're done with it. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah. And then you pay like one twenty. I paid one twenty-five. So you'll make money on it. The question now is going to be about the big stuff. Mm -hmm. Take slowing down and getting the big stuff done affordably. Because mm -hmm. anytime you get something like this foundation, if you're telling them what to do, you'll be able to get it done cheaper. Mm -hmm. I mean, like when I say cheaper, I mean you'll be able to get it done for three to five k or something versus ten or twenty k. Um, the floor for the whole basement, taking it down. Yes, you would need to rewaterproof it if you're taking the floor down. You mm -hmm. don't lose any waterproofing, so you'd have to rewaterproof it and put a new floor in. Um, that's going to cost five or six K probably maybe seven or eight K also. So when you start talking foundation, waterproofing, dropping the floor, putting your stuff, you've got 20, 30 K and like additional things that you're adding. Whoa. The good news is once those are all done, like the addition, the floor, the steps and all that, then you got a house to rehab, which is probably about 60, 50, 60 K. So you're not, you know, this still makes sense and works. You just can't ever pay for anything. And, uh, you know, so you've got to, you're taking this house and you're definitely, uh, you know, yeah, this, this is doable. The planning part of it's what you got to focus on now. We mm -hmm. just got to plan our butt off and get through. So the duck, it's not good, right? I mean, why is it not good? <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's so small. And uh, I don't know. Why would you think that? You're not an HVAC person. Did someone tell you that? No. No, it looks. I mean, it looks fine to me. I don't know. It's working right now. They're heating the house, so. <laughs> I, it's good enough. I don't know if it needs a couple of things. Like, you know, stuff like that might need to be up. A couple of things might need to be upgraded, but. You know, ideally, you want to save as much as possible if you can. The box, these little, I don't know, they, you know, 
again, I don't really know until you dig in, but foundation-wise, that was our big concern. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm here, my bigger concern is layout, like getting the layout to work and getting the height right so you can have a basement you come into. You know, you can use, get at least two bedrooms and a small two bedrooms, mm -hmm. a family room down here. Um, ideally, I think you need, well, two, if you get two bedrooms up there, you might be okay just having two bedrooms of upgrade. Um, uh, this door behind here is just sits in a bad place. It's, you know, because you were saying that we should use, like, we, we, well, this will be the no, entrance. Let's start over and pretend like we're going to start from scratch with this. <laughs> okay. Because this is all things a mess, and you're going to be moving the steps. If you're moving the steps, then we got four walls. We just have to figure it out within the four walls. Mm hmm And then go from there, because we might be moving the steps and everything. We have to move the steps. Okay. You don't actually have steps. Mm hmm To get anywhere. Okay. So sometimes, like, these are the, the hard things or the important stuff, not the... You know, the foundation, sheetrock, all that, a little bit of termite damage. Those things are easily fixed. Layout is always going to be your big thing. Okay. It's going to take to get your layout right and accomplish what you need. Mm -hmm. uh, your comps, were they like four twos? Yeah, you know, they are like four. Three beds yeah. above grade or just two beds above grade? Anyway? Three. All three above grade? Yeah, like they're they, they more rooms. So like two upstairs, one on the first floor kind of? Well, we'll look, in, we'll look a little farther and dig into it more, mm -hmm. but you've probably got enough space. Do you have a drawing right now where it shows the exact, like, where the door is? Yeah, I have the drawings that show yeah. exactly where the door is and where everything is. All right, let's go to the is. second floor. And the basement's the same, exact same, so we can work that out. Mm -hmm. It's definitely going to take a little planning, doing, and kind of going.